Hello again. Devil Talk 73 here, your fishing friend. And uh, I had a request to do a video on speckled peacock bass. Uh, it's not one of my specialties, but we'll do the best that we can. Uh, let me show you what uh, rig I like to use. There we go. Now, in the morning, I like to use the blue one and a half ounce major popper. Seems to work better in the morning. In the evening, I like to use the black. Now, some people prefer the two and a half, two and a half. I like the one and a half. That's just my preference. So I'm going to be using a uh, sharp caster seven foot, a power grab 7,000. Uh, 0.013 braid and a major popper one and a half ounce. I can cast that about 120 feet or so and that's that's really all we need. So let me show you where I'm going to fish. Okay, here's the dock. You come out of the dock underneath the bridge there Go around to the left, cross some lily pads, round to the left, okay, oops, come on, grab a hold, there we go, round to the left, see there's lily pads there, you're going to go over, round to the left, and then down in this area. Now, where I like to park, let's see if I can give you a GPS location is somewhere in the uh, 1 and 520.91. That's kind of where I like to park, somewhere in that area. 11.13, somewhere right in there because we can fish all in this area and they are. Okay? So that's where we're going to fish. So I'm going to go ahead and drive on down there in the dark if you let me get him a boat <laughs> start the motor don't need my headset on because I'm not going to be bobber fishing so I don't need to hear the dings okay oops turned it off let's start it up again There we go. Now I like to go through this. This area is slow. Come through the underneath the bridge. Go to the left. And go down this area. And if we go across those lily pads right there, we'll be headed in the right direction. In the correct direction. And up here, we're headed towards those trees. We want to go left. Now, there's a place right here in the morning, I've caught one or two, it's right across from these stumps sticking up, and if I fish there, I go over here along the side and cast that way and bring it down. I've caught blue crabs there too, uh, run it up against the bank, bring it back and catch the blue crabs. Okay, down here's where I like to fish. And get through stuff. Now you're going to see we're going to go past the floating dock down here. See, there was the dock. Past the trees. Okay. Now I'm going to open my map and see where I am. I think I'm just about there. Okay. Got my anchor. Now, you see this stump here? That's kind of where I want to be in that area because they're all out in here. Okay? 
and the way I go after them is I use a shotgun approach. I just start on one side, work it in, and just work it across, work it across, work it across, work it across. Okay? So I like, some people like to start at 5 a.m. I like to start at 6. I can see more of what's going on. Except for the bad fog. <laughs> so let's get her lure out and see what happens. Like I say, blue in the morning is what I like to use, and black in the evening. And we'll just, whoops, one speed, sorry. One speed. Maybe they're awake. If you like my video, please subscribe. And click on that bell over there to the right of the subscribe button. I had a hit there. And that will give you an email of when I put up any new videos. And if you have any request, got something. It's a little one, but it's a start. Just uh, put in comments. That's what this person did. They wanted to see a video on speckled peacock bass. So that's why I'm doing this. And hopefully, we catch something worth looking at. <laughs> Fishing, even a video game, you never know. I spit on my lure too, good old black liquid before I threw it out there. Maybe that'll help. Hey, can't hurt. It's like, like a cold and chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup can heal anything. Just ask your mom or ask your granny. See, I'm getting over there right against that. That's out there about 110 plus feet. Let's make work up plenty of water area. Surface area. Now, when I was here trying to find out if this was a good place to do this video, it was after 6.30 that I caught the first uni, a uh, 19 pounder, but uh, I can't advance time to 6.30. I have to start at 6 o'clock. <laughs> uh, it would be nice if we could advance it half hour click. But that would mean a lot more programming for the people that program it. So it, we just deal with what we got. But any questions, any comments, just post them. I look at them once or twice a day. Same thing with the subscribers. And uh, I'm a little tired right now. I just got doing some yard work. Oop, nice hit there. We love to catch uh, both in here, too. They get pretty big. As soon as I cast that out, I push down on my space bar. That's what I use the reel with. And then my right mouse button to pop it with. Okay, come on fish. Corporate, please. And I fished here till about 7.30 and it slowed way down. They were still hitting, but they were still hitting real slow, so I stopped at 7.30 and went ahead and went on to uh, Went on to 7 o'clock at night, and it was okay. I should have went to 6. And that's what we'll do. See what we catch here this morning. Then we'll go to... Oh, the other thing is we're on a sunny morning. I'll show you that in just a second. I haven't tried cloudy. I doubt that rain does any good. But uh, the peacocks are several locations. This just seems to be the biggest area of concentration. What we got there? We got a little something. Uh, a little speckle. Sunny. Okay. We want to fish right. I guess I could have started at 5. Been harder to see. And then we're going to go to 6 p.m. Okay. Like I said, I just do the shotgun. 
I start on one side and work my way to the other and work my way back across and if the video game aficionados cooperate maybe we'll catch a, a uni time will tell there's another small something okay now there are uni peacock bass in here as well as you see there's trophies in it and I have found after fishing this game for a pretty good while that usually and I say usually wherever there are trophies there are unis as well of the same species not always one reason being <clears throat> excuse me in a species list there has to be unis designated so if you look on the on the main on the main map you'll see that if there are trophies there might be unis and there might not like here there are no uni oscars trophy is as big as it gets that's okay a trophy oscar is hard to catch here too <laughs> only one place I've found it that's way on the back side of it there we go there's a nice one there's a nice one what we got what we got there we go a uni speckled bass okay now we got that and like I say from here to here just a shotgun approach okay now we're gonna go to 6 p.m. see what we get now here remember we're gonna change lures we are use the black one and a half now black or green seems to work at night or the afternoon and evening but the black seems to work best so we're going to start over here this time but I hope this finds you well and safe safe from COVID-19 and remember we will get through this together by the grace of our Lord and Heavenly Father and God bless you and your family that's most important he does mine every day my wife is a cancer survivor and I survived a quadruple heart bypass several years ago so God is good wasn't our time but we're staying hunkered down that puts us in the high risk category so we uh, pretty much stay at home we go to the curbside pickup and they bring our groceries out to us if we have to mail anything we'll, uh, my wife likes to take it to the post office I don't know why she just feels more confident than letting the mailman pick it up but David our mailman's a pretty good guy so we take it to the post office and drop it in the outside mailbox and I think that's just a reason for her to get out of the house and then if we need to go to the bank we do the drive through with the bank and if we have to do prescription we do the drive through prescriptions come on fish come on that's a nice hit I think yeah maybe maybe not a real huge one but what we got there there's a speckle they're here at night see or in the late afternoon but they're fun to catch and you see I use an oversized rod and reel the lures ain't cheap they're about six a little over six thousand dollars each and every once in a while not too often but every once in a while a tarpon will come through here and grab it <laughs> and if you've got light rig on you're and anchored down you might lose it now I can show you how not to lose your lure if that happens I, I did a video on that about press your windows key on the bottom of your keyboard and go over on the 
window that's open for the game. Right click it and close window. That gets you out of the game and saves your lure. And here's another thing. I'll show you that right now. What we got here? There it is. Okay. If you're tired of listening to that airplane come over your head, over here to like you're going to leave, you go to audio and this bottom one right here, put it down to zero. And that gets rid of that airplane noise. Some people like it. Uh, the first time it happened to me, I was fishing out by the barge, fishing for a tarpon and permit, and it come right over the barge and like to scare me dead. I had no idea what it was until I saw it. I thought, good lord, we're under attack. In a video game, we're under attack. <laughs> But it took me a little while to figure out which one of the control to get rid of that sound. If you like it, leave it alone. Or if you want it quieter, put the sound down lower. But if you're fishing bobber and it's going ding, 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 and you're trying to hear that ding and that airplane comes over, you can't hear the ding. That doesn't get rid of that sound, just the environmental sound, like the that goose, California at the dam. Quack, 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 quack. Yeah. <laughs> it's loud. But you can quieten it down. Oh, come on. Come on. That's it. Come on. I like it when they hit like that. That means they're there and they're moving. They're active. And then when you get done fishing for this, you go over on the boat dock at night, cast out about 95 feet towards that stump that's sticking almost right straight out in front of you with your bottom rods. With a, I use a barbless hook so I get the maximum XP and cash that it'll allow me to have. Uh, six aught barbless hook right straight out towards that stump with the four bottom rigs and you can catch tarpon and permit there and every once in a while a red drum or black drum that way you can fill your net now because we're fishing on a sunny day you don't want to go at nine o'clock you want to go to eleven because nine o'clock there's the end of this six o'clock but you'll catch one or two and then it'll stop oh come on that was it and just go ahead and advance to 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. And you can fish from 11 to 1, maybe 2, or as long as they're hitting, and catch tarpon and permit. And uh, finish filling your net and get the maximum amount of money you can for, for this day's fishing. Here's a trophy. That's okay. We'll take a trophy. Come on, Uni. I know you're out there. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Yeah. Pop that popper. Pop. Oh, there it was. <laughs> this is a good place for XP and cash. Uh, watch my video on farming here, and you'll see what I mean. With without premium, which I don't, I don't. The only time I have premium is when. Uh, it's either given to me as a reward or uh, somebody gives it to me, whatever. Uh, I figure I can just fish longer and wind up with the same amount of cash and XP without premium. But if you want premium, go ahead and get it. That way you can level up faster. Build up your cash faster. And fishing over there at the farming spot out towards the barge on the right is a good place to build up cash and XP. Oh, come on. That was probably a gar, the way it hit. Catching uh, to the left, you catch tarpon and permit. To the right, you catch uh, black drum, red drum, and gaff topsail. Any occasional snook. Both on large minnows and still again that six off hook.
Barbus or not. Eh, not a uni. But it's a fish. Whoa, come flying at me. I flutter by. I guess if you're watching enough of my videos, you don't watch every minute of it. You just kind of slide it along till you see my bar graph over on the right with some action on it and stop and see what happens. That's what I do. But I like to tell people where I'm fishing. Not just all of a sudden start fishing. That doesn't do you any good. And I like to tell people what I'm using, whether it's a lure or uh, bait, what my leader length is, hook size, as much information as I can do to help you catch fish, because that's that's what the video is supposed to be for, is to help you catch fish, not brag on what I you know, this is what I caught. No, no, that's not me. And you also know there's no ads on my videos. I'm not in this to make money. Now, I'm not independently wealthy, don't get me wrong. I'm just retired and I got lots of time. How's a little one? A little one. But it is the right kind. Okay, we're getting close to where the uni should start coming out. Good Lord willing, the creek don't rise. Here, uni, 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 here, uni. The best dog on fish in the south. Oh, another good hook. Close to the boat. Close to the boat. hit. What a hit. Come on. One of these days, one of yours, I'll figure out how to turn those big hits like that into catches. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's try the green one. Just out of curiosity. Because you never know. The blue doesn't seem to work at night, at least it hasn't for me. Just the black and the green. Oops. Ain't too many fish going to hit them that fast. <laughs> That's not falling. That. Ah, don't do that. Jump out there and grab a hold of it. Open that big old mouth and take it in. It's just a little old hook. And after I'm done fishing, they're going to let you go. I get paid, they're going to let you go. You're not going to the dog food factory. You're not going to go in a fryer. Another good hook. Come on. Five odd hook. I wonder if those two and a halves have a bigger hook. That might be what I need. Go on across to this and then we'll go to try two and a half. Just out of curiosity. For the sake of.
Robin Hood and Billy John are walking through the forest. Oodle-la-de, oodle-la-de, oodle-la-de. Now see, if I throw that far up my grab for the two and a half, it's going to be over there on the shore. <laughs> uh, then I can catch boots and grass and backlashes and everything but fish. Sticks, boots, rags, plastic rags. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Well, there we go. Trophy butterfly, flutterby. We're getting close to seven. I'm going to swap back to the black one. Now, these lures are sold here, too, in this store. I don't know how the price compares with the, with the home price. Oh. My doggy talking to me. He wants to know what I'm doing. He wants to come in here and get a piece of root beer candy is what he wants. <laughs> I have to close my door into my area of the basement, my cave. So he'll leave me alone. And he'll stand outside the door and he'll scratch on it or bark. <laughs> Let me know. That he's there. He's a 125 pound Great Pyrenees, so he he pretty well lets you know in a hurry what he wants. And some of the saddest expression that you know exactly what he's thinking. And ears, Lordy mercy, he does not miss a thing. He can hear squirrels walking through the grass across the street. Or cats, unbelievable ears. He's a herder. That's what they were bred for. Okay, we're gonna go back to the black one. See, we didn't have a whole lot of luck between six and seven. So were I you, and this was going to be my attempt at catching these things, I would go from 6 to 7, 30, 8 o'clock in the morning, and then from 7 to 9 at night. Oh, oh, climb on up there. Uh, nope. Well, there it is, a 20-pounder. I didn't think it was that big. So see, now that was at uh, 7.02. So... Decent XP, good money. Okay. Well, that worked. So that's me. Appreciate you watching. God bless you and your family. Uh, tight lines, good luck. Uh, please subscribe and click that bell over there to the right of the subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment if you'd be so kind. And uh, take care. Be safe. Uh, take care of your family and uh, watch some other videos. Learn how to catch more and bigger fish. So uh, I'll catch you later. Y'all come back now. You hear it?